Okay, here's my hydrogen heater. Your atypical um, copper coil or copper heat diffuser. Now, if you notice where I put that, see see that uh, it's in between the gap of the heaters. You see the fog up. Now, what I notice is I put the I put the flame in the middle of the pipe, right in the center, and I got 75 degrees. Then I put the then I put the flame tip in between where two pipes touch. I got 100 degrees. Now I put it in the gap in between four pipes. You see right there. And I'm reading 110 degrees. This is off one itty bitty little torch tip. This is a Hope Jewelers tip. Okay. This is a household vent register. These are two 120 volt fans that are uh, one is powered down so because it, it gets it doesn't get uh, warm enough. The torch is, if you can see in there, is just a air fitting tapped onto the back of a pencil torch, and the Hoke Jewelers tips, jeweler uh, the Jewelers torch tips, screw directly into the front of the uh, of the um, pencil torch. So my my theory here is this is a number two tip. My theory here is, is that if I was to get a couple more, and I was able, to, able and I was able to push the envelope here a little bit more, I think that I would very, very, very easily be able to get this to put out probably 100, 150 to 180 degrees. Right now, it's uh, very warm to the touch, but I can obviously touch it. This entire part here is cold. So the only thing that ever gets really warm is this part. But just uh, figured I'd show you. And by the way, I'm running this on uh, 40 amps, 12 volts, and it's about 103 degrees Fahrenheit on the electrolyte.